Hey guys, it's Jen from Hello Brio Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to vectorize your hand lettering from paper to digital using the Image Trace in Illustrator. So now I'm just going to use my Tombow dual brush pen to write some letters here. So I've gone ahead and texted myself this photo. I'm going to take it from messages and just drag it into my Photoshop. From here what we need to do is adjust the levels of the picture so the blackest part of the text is black and then the background is really white. So if you hit Command L, you're going to bring up the levels palette. The quickest way to do this is to hit the white eyedropper and click somewhere until the white gets whiter and then click the black eyedropper and do the same thing for the black part of your text. Now what I'm going to do is hit the lasso tool and just select the most important part of the picture, which is the center. You can see towards the outside, because this is from a photo, there's some darkness going on that you don't want to bring into your drawing in Illustrator. So just do a quick crop around everything with the lasso tool. This is just going to select it, hit Command C to copy, open your Illustrator, and hit Command N for new, and then hit OK to open a new document. I'm going to hit Command V to paste this in here. Okay, so here we can see the work. Now, because the artboard is actually smaller than the file, what I'm going to do is hit Command Shift H to hide the artboard. The next thing you want to do is open up your image trace palette. If it's not already open, go to Window and then Image Trace. There are a lot of presets in here. I've created everything from Monsters Below, but you want to start with something that's going to give you something black and white because it's what you're working with. So go ahead and hit, hit black and white logo. That's a really great place to start. It's going to do some calculations and do some digitizing based on the edges of your artwork where the contrast is the highest. So this did a pretty good job. You want to make sure that your advanced section is expanded so you can see all of your options here. Because there is some weirdness going on with the T and the I, I'm actually going to reduce the threshold so that these become separate pieces. So if I go back and hit Command O, I can see my entire piece. So I'm going to reduce the threshold a little bit, and that's actually looking pretty good. What the paths does is the lower the number of paths, the smoother your drawing is going to be. Same with corners. I generally like to not have a ton of corners, but sometimes you lose some detail if you get rid of too many corners. I'm going to actually keep it a little higher than that. You can always go back and smooth later. Um, okay, so now that everything is done, I'm going to hit the expand button. This is going to convert all these in the different paths. Then I need to ungroup this twice. You can do that by hitting Command Shift G twice. Don't ask me why it's twice. Everyone kind of says like, I don't know why you have to do it twice, but you do. So then what you're going to do is take your direct selection tool, which is V, and then select the outer part of your drawing and hit delete and do the same for all of these pieces within your drawing that you don't want to be colorized. Alright, so that's done. What I'm going to do now is go in and smooth some of these things out. Some things look kind of funky, they digitized weird. So if you zoom in here to the D, you need to first select the path that you want to edit. Now see here that's kind of just wiggly and I want to fix that. So what I'm going to do is go to the Smooth tool, which I've changed the shortcut to be Shift S. You can do that in Edit and then Edit Keyboard Shortcuts. Something else is probably already assigned to Shift S, but I use the Smooth tool so often that I feel like it's something that's good to have on your, your whatever shortcuts menu really easily. So now that I have the Smooth tool selected and I have my D selected, I'm just going to go ahead and gently trace around this edge here. It doesn't have to be perfect, I'm just doing this with my trackpad on my laptop. So whenever you need to switch from path to path, you need to make sure to hit the V tool and then hit Command, or I'm sorry, Shift S again. So I'm just going to go through and hit V and Shift S to wherever I need to adjust the smoothness of some of these things. Just 
just going through. It's generally the less points along a path, the better because the smoother your work is going to be. But because this is digitized hand lettering too, you also want it to keep some of its character, so it doesn't have to be perfect. If you ever need to really go in here and adjust a certain path point or you want to get rid of the path point, you can just hit the P tool and hover over an anchor and when the minus comes up you can subtract it that way. You can also go in with the direct selection tool or whatever it's called, yeah, the direct selection tool and click on an anchor, drag the handles out, whatever you need to do, but generally I'm going to trust the image trace tool to do what it do, does best. So. Zoom out, hit Command O to view all of your artwork. You can see it's ready to go. You can plop this on top of photos. You can use it as your blog logo, etc. whatever you need to do. So I hope that was helpful. If you like this video, please subscribe and share with your friends and let me know if there are any other Illustrator or Photoshop tutorials that you'd like to see in the future. Thanks.